Alright, I'm already back and I got everything working. Surprisingly, I found out what the issue was with my actual signal and I slowed my signal down a bit and that fixed that out. I also made a lookup table of all the different uh, pulses needed to go in different areas. I made, some, I made some nice things to the code. I'll explain those later. I'm not going to make a super long video. But here's the cluster. I actually put it up and on a box and stuff so I can see it and it's right where I'd be looking so it's pretty convenient for me. I'll get the lights going on the actual on the actual instrument cluster pretty soon here. That shouldn't take too long. It's just a lot of wires to have to go up to all the different LEDs. So I'll just uh, fire this up now. Oh, my cursors. Alright, so make load. So now it's completely loading and everything, so my current CPU usage is, is zero, as you can see by my idle being 99.9%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to do a make J24 on the wrong console. Hey, J24, and that's in user source. So I'll get this to see this thing in action. So there we go. Instantly we get pretty much full CPU usage. And I think I have it updating every 100 milliseconds right now, which is just a hard-coded define that you can change really easily. So you can see it's kind of all over the place, so every one second is nice, but I don't know. I, th I thought this looked pretty neat. So here's where it's at now, and it actually works. So if I go... Uh, and I cancel this, it will drop down right back to zero. So, I don't know. I thought this was pretty neat. I'll add the lights, I'll add maybe temperature and memory usage on other gauges as well. And we'll see a more finished product pretty soon. Alright.